found another one just walking up the stream here and he's just sitting there swinging in the current just taking nymphs as they come down and there's starting to be a few duns um, like hatch at the moment and fly off so he'll be taking a those but also as the the nymph itself is letting go of the rock to swim up he'll certainly eat those and he's uh, starting to gorge himself which is good you want the fish to get in a real feeding mode, so they just, everything they see, they expect it to be food. And they eat one thing after another, and then uh, unfortunately, one of, well, unfortunately for the trout anyway, one of those nymphs has a hook in it. Up and down. There you go. Better. And again. One more will change, you look at the emerger, you need a cracker. Right up, put a cracker on. So uh, we've had a couple of casts there and he's sort of moved over and seen the fly but not eaten it so we need to change it. So he's going to put on like a little special, what's a cracker, a special little nymphy type fly. And uh, he'll eat this one, Sean, and no doubt. <laughs> yeah. Just look at the views. Here we are. Sean has said who cares whether we catch it because look at these views. Yep. And it really is. I mean, it's just incredible. And you do have to remind yourself every now and then that fishing is not the most important thing in the world. Just mucking around with friends and uh, hopefully see a few fish. Catch one every now and then. Yep. Life's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, just that's what happens when you see it down because you've got to react. You've got to be a steel spring, yeah, Forrest got, Gump. Yeah, you've got to be like that, innit? Yep. As soon as he puts that in his mouth, he realises that's not food and spits it out. So you've got to strike straight away. So sometimes we appear a little bit jumpy, but that's just because we're ready to whack it as soon as that fish takes it. changes to make sure it was getting down so Shauna had done quite a few casts that were absolutely perfect and it didn't need it and uh, and Scott changed flies to something else then he put on a heavier one and that was the difference and often they'll eat they just need to see it and that's what it takes to get that fly right down in front of it so we can see it excellent fish too. Just holds. Plenty of power there, Shauna. Yeah, six eggs. Yeah, wow, okay. So, so six X's, we're down to three and a half pound, which puts everything in the fish's favour. Like in, in an area like this, you can see all those jagged rocks on that wall. Well, it's the same in the water as well. So we've got to make sure that he doesn't get to wrap us around anything or any sticks. You've got to let him know who's boss, but also be patient enough to know that he's in his element. And we'll just work through it. And you use the side strain like that, that'll steer the fish much like uh, a horse. If we uh, 
put that rod on that angle, that fish is going to go in that direction. And the best way to turn them out of snags or directly to the net up is on different rod angles. Absolutely perfect. Beautiful fish, he's using the current to his advantage as well, but he's fighting against it, which is ideal, and that'll tire him out. Interesting, we have different netting styles, Scott. I'm more the uh, the, the Rafi Nadal tennis forehand. Hey. Yeah, you're a lot more gentle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or I could have busted it off. Also, Kurt, don't jinx me. <laughs> now we're right. Magic. Well done. Oh, you champ. Yes. You beauty. <laughs> well done. What a lovely fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Awesome. Okay, here he is, just here. Yep, he's much closer now. So, yep. Oh. Can you see it? Yeah. Now he's swimming back out. Now he's coming oh. closer. Yep. That's the one. That's a better cast. Yep, yep. Nice. Yeah. Well done. Well done. That's it. That's good. Yep. So, yep, let him have line if you want. That's the reel's going to do the work. That's good. Just let the reel do it. That's excellent. The reel will do it right up. That's a girl. Well done. Just, just stay back here. Yep, so you can wind up. That nice bend in the rod, wind up. And we're going to go left, we're not going to go in the water. Now he's coming down. It's good. Pressure on. Well done. Excellent. Perfect. Perfect. Yep, make sure you don't, don't hold. Yep, so you can drag him in a little bit. No, let him go. Oh well, that can happen too if you hang on. Yep. So you just gotta let him go and uh, that's you know what can happen. But the main thing is that we got him to take and that's all pretty good. When they get in that fast water, you gotta let him go. Otherwise, they're just stronger than that tippet. And uh, it's unfortunate, but we stooged him though, Marsha, we stooged him. <laughs> So here it is, just here in the middle. No, recast, recast. All right, let it drift, ready, ready, wait, wait, wait. Ready, yes, lift, lift. Well done, well done, excellent. Oh no, good work. Yep, yep, and remember to let him go when he wants it, but that's good. Perfect, and that's what it's about, persistence. We've had another fish move into that area. Uh, and we've stuck with the flies and a couple of good casts is all it took. And uh, we've had a chance to learn from the, the, last one, the last one that busted off too. So um, giving it the line when it needs it. So uh, we definitely won't make that mistake twice. He's still got a bit of go on him. Yep. Oh, 
I'm nearly, nearly, yeah. This is the one, Gabe. Yes, we're nearly there. And it's in the net. Yeah. So we're all pretty happy about that one. Well done. That's excellent. That's uh, second chance selling. To get that one, that's great. That's great. What a lovely fish. What a beautiful fish. Excellent. And that's what it's all about. Put back in there and he's terrific straight away. That's good. Yeah, excellent. Plenty of go left in him. Well done. And there you go. That's what it's all about. Well done, champ. Well done. Jump out into the water then around here. We, main thing is, well, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yep, go without him seeing us. So where he is, that's, you're getting, oh, that's almost too long, but let it drift ready, it's coming up to him. Yep. Yeah! Oh. Oh. Quick. Yep, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's it. Years, That's yeah. it. I heard them cheer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Probably a bit too quick, eh? Oh, well. Sometimes we like to get them to take it, and particularly a bigger fish in the quieter water to turn down and then strike. But it's pretty hard. We're all pretty excited, Mark, isn't it? When you see a big head come out and you go, whack it! Cheer. Anyway, at least we got him to take that fly. That was good. Yeah. Absolute ripper, and you can see every now and then you'll see the white of the inside of his mouth, and that's the what we call the wink. But you can just see that trout open his mouth to let a nymph in, and that lets you know that he's either taken a nymph or at times your fly, and you can set the hook. Well done. Yeah. Excellent. Beauty, Scott. That's it. Well done. Good job, Mark. Mark. Concentrate. Try and get him on the reel and then going close to him because John's going to try and get down to that bank. Just start walking towards him. to steer and fish can get into these undercut banks just what's been worn away lots of uh, tree roots and, and the grass roots and all that sort of stuff So after that, we've all just had to take a moment. It's minimum three minutes, a little bit of you know me time for everybody, I think, and uh, reassess Mark especially. He's going to potentially sit in the naughty corner for at least a couple of minutes after this, but there's a fish up here that he might get as well. Ready, 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 ready. <laughs> oh. Drifting back into the middle, backwards and forwards. Oh, well, he's, to the, he's in the shallows now, but you've got to go to the right a metre. Oh, okay. Yep. Huge 
big black shape just sitting there taking nymphs and you're just not sure how big this fish will be and a stunning little gorge part of the, the river that really does cascade through there at times so uh, getting it to take the flies one thing a little bit of work to do afterwards as well all good fun fish just there and then you just have a sneak look up here as well and go mm, that one looks even bigger Assistance. Scott changed flies 25 times and uh, we think it could have even been a depth thing to get down. Lovely solid fish and it's all about persistence. A big head shake. It's a big tail. It's just a solid fish. That's not a little uh, thrasher. So that's good. Excellent mark. That's the way. I'm really not going on yet. Yep. I'll give him a car. 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 Doing well. Stunning fish. The depth on this, once we get him out of the water, will be incredible. Oh. Good, don't point it at him. That's it, nice and high rod, that's good. Excellent. That's the way, doing well, Mark. 
That's it. Good. Turn him around. There's a lot of trouble if we look up through that gorge there. That one only ends in one way. So keeping him down here is terrific. Doing really well. Good job, good job. There. We don't want to lunge because it is like three pound tippet and you whack that with the net, which ends pretty quickly. There's a bit of pressure on that net, we want him to head up oh, and hop out of the way, excellent. And then this one you can get the next one there. Yep, he's up there, yeah. That's good. Well done, boys. Right. Yep. You, who's tired? You or the fish? Right, I'm just Oh, yeah. It's all right, mate. You, that point the rod at him, so you've got to bend him, that's it. That's it, like that's much better. That's the way. Yeah, 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 the yeah, sides are different to pointing it at him. Right the edge there, that's really good. He'll get his head up in a minute and you'll be right. That's it, that's it. Well done, good, good angling. Excellent mate. He's nearly, yep. Yes! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh. Yeah. That's gold. Absolute gold, you two. We're going to get a photo of the two you guys. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, it's a big mate. Fish. Yep. Yep. That's a thumper. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah. Look at yep. Mark. I knew there was a reason I brought you along. Look at the size of that. That is stunning, huh? Absolutely stunning. Detector. I reckon seven and a seven and a quarter. Wow. Well done. Hey, cut that out, you two. Come on. Awesome, mate. Well done. And a pretty fitting end, Mark, I would say. What a wonderful day. Fabulous day. Best day ever.